Kenya has emerged as a commercial powerhouse in the East African region. It is one of the ultimate tourism destinations, providing travelers with a window into the heart of Africa. However, the capital of this vibrant trade hub is also challenged by the problem of traffic congestion, creating a cost burden of a whopping 140 billion shillings annually. It'll take an hour and a half, really. You know, in, in the 21st century Nairobi, this is a distance that should not take an hour and a half. I would say the amount of time that I spend in traffic um, ranges between maybe 20 to up to an hour. Fortunately, change is on the horizon. Nairobi's traffic congestion will soon be a thing of the past thanks to 21st century technology. The intended solution will regulate driver behavior, improve traffic efficiency, return economic benefits, promote traffic safety, save citizens time and improve convenience and experience. In 2017, Kenya Urban Roads Authority launched an initiative intended to tame traffic on Nairobi's roads. We have done a pilot project, which we have done seven junctions. And that is for us to learn and also to train people on how to use it before we now can roll out the whole of the Nairobi. Conventional traffic lights operate based on a fixed time, regardless of the flow of traffic on each lane. Transport is taken by this government as one of the key strategic pillars in terms of supporting the key government agenda. As a ministry, we are responsible for the development and maintenance of road infrastructure in the country. Urban centers, we have Kenya Urban uh, Roads Authority. And this is the authority that is responsible for development and maintenance of roads in the urban centers in Nairobi. Traffic management, we try to do it by constructing the missing links. We try to look for signalization and we do... The rest is done by the police on control, manual control, which it's not working as at now. But without uh, proper transport systems, then the key agenda items by government are completely incapacitated. We have too many vehicles in Nairobi and uh, with the mindset of drivers, you would find that our police officers have to be on the road right from morning to very late hours in the evening. The traditional traffic lights that used to be there, they will uh, go, be on and off all the time. The initiative to decongest Nairobi's traffic utilizes a product of Huawei Technologies, an intelligent transportation system, which uses advanced technology to solve problems in the world of transportation. We have to understand uh, the entire concept of ITS in terms of uh, making sure that we have um, a coordinated process whereby technology is coming in, new technology is coming in, and Married, marrying that technology with what we have on the ground. In contrast to traditional traffic lights, intelligent traffic lights allow a longer period of traffic flow from roads with most vehicles and less time where there is no traffic. What we have realized with this, uh, with this uh, ITS is that it is able to change with time depending on traffic flow within several arms of the, several arms of the junction. And then that makes it more efficient and more uh, traffic is able to flow. Uh, effectively. So the video collects that and then we upload it into a software that processes data, gives you uh, traffic numbers and can also classify the traffic. Uh, a traffic management center is to actively uh, manage traffic, monitor traffic, uh, but also optimize the, uh, the signal points. The new smart lights for the time I've been here, since they were connected, uh, they have really helped us in that after the peak hours in the morning, after 9 or 10, you, the officers at least have some time to rest. The intelligent traffic system demonstrates that there are smart ways to keep cities growing and create a sustainable urban future. Before the traffic lights, I used to take a longer time to get to work, about 45 minutes from my place to the office and now after the installation of the traffic lights there's more order, more discipline among the motorists 
and it definitely takes a shorter time period to get to work. The system is going to bring order on the road, whereby it's going to control these vehicles such that nobody would be wanting to cross when he's not supposed to be. So far with the use of the traffic light has been uh, optimistic, let me say beneficial, yes, spot on, convenient for any motorist, yeah, using the traffic lights, it's basically good for the roads, as in everywhere should have traffic lights. What's next is the expanded rollout of this system. We have selected about a hundred junctions which we have gone through and seen, see, seen that they are going to do an improvement of the traffic congestion. And those are the ones that we are trying to see how far we can be able to do. What we've noted so far has one of the main impact is that for the roads that we've piloted, the traffic flow is very smooth, very efficient, and also there have been low uh, accident levels in those areas. We shall involve the police because what we are looking at, if possible, we can even be getting people who are violating the traffic rules from within the traffic center. I'm happy that uh, the pilot has matched our expectations in terms of cost-benefit analysis. And therefore now, we have, can have the confidence to go to the next level, whereby from the pilot, we shall be scaling up to maybe 100 more junctions you know, across the city. This solution is already improving traffic flow in the city and is also helping modernize Kenya and cement the country's future in line with its aspiration for a better society by the year 2030.